Okay, YouTube, got a package in this morning. It is a Saturday morning. And let's dig on into it. Okay. Now, this game I found uh, pretty cheap online, and it was the cheapest version I had seen in a, a good long while. Uh, the price on this game has shot up. But this one was listed in good condition. I messaged the seller. They use a stock photo um, for their listing. I messaged the seller and asked if it came with the original case, etc. They said that it did. And so I went ahead and bought it. This completes my Silent Hill collection. We've got Silent Hill Book of Memories on the Vita. And there's the cart. Case is in good condition. But now I've got the original Silent Hill Black Label, Silent Hill 2, these are all complete, all in mint condition, Silent Hill 3, Silent Hill 4 The Room, Silent Hill Origins, Silent Hill Shattered Memories, I also have the strategy guide for that game, Silent Hill Homecoming, Downpour, and the HD collection as well as Silent Hill Origins on the PSP. But now I've got one copy of every game that was released for the series. So I'm extremely happy to finally finish my Silent Hill collection. But there you have it folks. On to the next. Come on man. Oh. Um, Minecraft 7, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Animal Crossing. Uh... Ocarina of Time, Wario Master of Disguise, and Heart Gold. Alright, let's take a look. Alright. You doing alright today? I'm doing alright, how are you? Pretty good. Ready for all this craziness to be over with. Mm -hmm. Alright, 50 bucks? Yeah, sir. Alrighty. There you go, man. Count that, make sure it's there. Here. Yes, sir. Come on. You hear that? Oh yeah. All right, so we just took took advantage of the buy two get one free. So I found some games I've been wanting. We got dead cells. <laughs> Legend of K Anniversary and uh, Roman Rumble in Las Vegas. This is an Asterix and Obelix game, 3D platformer. Cool. Okay, folks, this is the day after Memorial Day. We got a package in, and I'm not sure who this is from. I mean, uh, Tony, Tony from Missouri City. This wasn't an eBay purchase or anything. That I can think of. Uh, okay, it's just two games. And no note. Okay. <laughs> Tony, uh, if you're watching this, buddy, uh, what's up with this package? <laughs> okay, we got uh, probably two PS3 games I don't think I have in my collection. And maybe... This was a, uh, maybe it was just a, a package of saying, here, here's some games you don't have for your PS3 collection. Okay, we got Infamous 2, Complete, and Fracture, Missing the Manual. But two games I know I don't have in the, in the collection. So Tony, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, folks. On to the next. Okay, folks, we have got a few packages 
I ordered some games during uh, GameStop's buy two, get two free sale, and I got one game in yesterday. I got the other three in today. I'm also still waiting on um, a uh, deal of the day game that I purchased. My uh, local GameStop did not have it in stock where I could pick up in store and save on shipping fees, but I went ahead and ordered it from, um, from the website anyway. Now, I don't know if any of these games are complete with their original case. We'll just have to see uh, what GameStop sent me. And it looks like two out of the three in this package uh, have, their, have their cases and one does not. So maybe I can track down a case. We'll see. But I picked up uh, San Mora EX. I've heard a lot of good things about this. This is a shooter and I heard that it's very, uh, very well done. Very beautiful background layout, music, etc. Um, I've seen gameplay on it from, from other pickups videos and uh, other people talking about this game. So definitely happy to pick that up. Another that I, I uh, picked up was a, a racer. And that's called <laughs> Red Out, Race Faster Than Ever. Picked that one up. And the one that I'm kind of disappointed that does not have its case. And, uh, but it does come with the soundtrack. Okay, cool. They did include both, both of those discs. But that is The Girl and the Robot. And so it does come with the game and the soundtrack. So that was pretty cool, but like I said, hopefully I can find a, uh, a complete copy. And then the other package, hopefully this is original case, and it is not. At least it has the cover art. Wow. That is Republic. So I'll be able to switch out this, this cover art because at least I had that. And it's not in the greatest condition. But it's a generic case. I do have uh, extra PS4 cases laying around. And majority of PS4 games don't come with manuals or anything like that. So that's okay. Then I picked up another um, deal of the day game. You have to buy these online and you have your choice of picking up at the store if uh, your local store has them in stock. And this one was in stock. This one was marked down from $40 to $16.99 new. And that is Black Sad uh, Under the Skin. So whenever you order these and they're ready for pickup at your store, you'll get an email. So I got the email stating that it was ready for pickup. I get to the store. It's already paid for. I paid for it online. She has it in the GameStop bag and it's already got a knot tied on it. And she's like, here you go. So it wasn't until I got home that I realized that she pulled a little sneaky on me. And... Yes, the lenticular uh, image is included. The cards are sealed. But she sold me a non-factory sealed copy as new. I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. But it's something that I did not catch until I got home. So, oh well. I had planned on playing the game anyway. So it's not that big of a deal, but I don't like buying something new that is already opened. This should have sold for the pre-owned price, which probably would have been more expensive um, since that was deal of the day. Then, my local GameStop did not have this game in stock. I'm not sure that they are, but Walmart had it in stock for $33.88. There's the receipt right here. And that is Maneater. So this is an RPG where you play as a shark. And uh, so 
fantastic. I can't wait to, to get into that. But there you have it, folks. On to the next. Okay. Doing all right? Yeah. So that's the only game I didn't have a case for, so I just lugged it in with this one. That's cool. There's that. All right. Carries all those. Okay. And I want to throw these in extra just because they're, I don't need them anymore. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. Fantastic. Is that 110? Yeah. Okay. I'll count that and make sure it's there. Yep. All right, man. I appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Have you a great day. Okay, so out of that RPG lot and everything else that I picked up, this is what I've got left for sale. I did sell Adelia Riza on Facebook for 150 bucks um, shipped. So that was fantastic. I was able to flip that and make all my money back so everything else in that RPG lot was nothing but profit. We got Luminous Arc though, that's complete. Uh, Warrior Master of Disguise, there's Luminous Arc 2. I'll try to get rid of this the girl and the robot nothing but disc only we got Valkyria Chronicles 4 I am Setsuna the Japanese version it is in English though and Tales of Vesperia definitive edition there's everything for sale still and here's everything I'm keeping there are two games that you did not see on video there's Roman Rumble in Las Vegas, Legend of K Anniversary, Days Gone. Uh, you saw Ring Up for zero, uh, for nothing, and that's because I had a $10 voucher to use in store, and that covered the cost of the video game, so I walked out with Days Gone for free. Dead Sales Man Eater. Alright, so one of the games you did not see on video was Helmet. This was actually a um, GameStop deal of the day, $6.99 brand new. So that's still sealed. The other one that you did not see is Deathmark Limited Edition. I just popped into GameStop uh, real quick one day. And this was in there for, I believe, $16 or either $17.99. Marked down from $40. I'm not mistaken. There's PS3 going into the collection. Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. Animal Crossing. Uh, New Leaf. Silent Hill Book of Memories. All of this going into the collection. Good bit of PS4. But there you have it, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that uh, like button. If you have not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon every single time I upload new content, you'll get a notification. Hope you have had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Taddy Collector, and have a good one.